Hi, this is Alex Masichev of Antvillion, the developers of Dita2 Dita CMS. In the next few minutes, I am going to show you how Dita2 Workflow Manager can help you streamline the life cycle of your content. Suppose that your content passes through several states. Initial, when you create a new topic and begin writing content. Reviewing, when a subject matter expert is reviewing it. Approved, when the content is approved and ready for release and translation. In translation, when the content is being translated. And finally, translated, when the translation is uploaded to the Dita2 repository. These states vary from company to company, so Workflow Manager lets you create any states you need and name them as you need. Entering a state may trigger certain actions. For example, when the topic enters the review state, you may want an email to be sent to the reviewer together with a PDF of the topic. Or, when you download a project for translation, you need Dita2 to create a baseline. Also, you may want to prohibit certain actions in a state. For example, if a project is in the approved state, it cannot be modified, deleted, or moved within the repository. Let's see how it works. You start with setting up workflow states in Dita2 Admin. There are several predefined workflow states, such as Initial, In Translation, and some others. You can create your own ones by clicking Add and entering the name of the state. For each state, you can specify actions that should be called when a file enters this state. Let's say that we want an email with a PDF generated from the project or from an individual topic uh, to be sent to the reviewer when a file enters the review state. We also don't want anyone to send the topic for translation or delete it while it's being reviewed. Similarly, for the approved state, we want to restrict any modifications but want to allow translations. After the states are set up in Dita2 Admin, you can use them in Dita2 Author. You just right-click on the file, and it might be a topic, project, or any other file. Select Change Workflow State, and then select the state for the file. You can also assign the file to a Dita2 auth user. That user will immediately receive an email notification. Let's say that we've moved a topic to the approved state. And now we're trying to delete it. Because we've defined that a file in this state cannot be deleted, Dita2 shows us a message saying that while the file is in this state, it cannot be deleted. You can search for files by workflow state. You can also see the files assigned to you. If you have access to Dita2 Admin, you can see assignments for all users. This was a brief overview of how you can use Workflow Manager to control the life cycle of your content. Please don't hesitate to contact us for more information. Also, we'll be happy to see you in our community in LinkedIn, where we discuss both Dita2-related topics and general Dita issues.